Today on Coal Cracker, we're gonna be turning a round stump into a hinged flint and steel kit. What's up guys, Dan here, Coal Cracker Bushcraft. That's right, we're gonna be turning a round stump into a wooden flint and steel tinder box. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be relaxing. So grab something to eat, maybe some bacon, some beer, and uh, sit back and relax. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece of maple. This is still green wood. We just cut it this weekend, so I thought I'm gonna put it to good use. We're gonna take this, we're gonna make some dimensional lumber with it, and then we're gonna turn that dimensional lumber into our tinder box. Okay, so how we're gonna do this, a little bit thought ahead, okay? If you want a domed lid on this thing and you want the bark on there, then you're gonna work on this portion. Otherwise, you could work on the center. So I think uh, we'll try to go with the domed lid. If it gets messed up, we have a whole nother log and we have a whole nother pile over there if I really mess stuff up. So let's go with it that way, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start just by batoning my ax through. And we end up with something that looks like this. So, what we're gonna do with this thing is I'm gonna lay my steel striker on there and give myself a little bit on each side. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and I'm gonna have to cut this down. But I'm gonna do that in a little bit. And then I also need some on each side this way. So, again, just figuring out where that needs to be. And now, I'm going to baton that yet again. Okay, so that's what we got. Now, when I carve this, okay, in a little bit here you're gonna see, we're gonna have a lid, and then we're gonna have a bottom section that's carved out that this can actually fit in. So this is, although this seems a little bit thick, okay, once I cut it down and I trim it and I carve the sides, I think we're gonna be close to about where we want it, all right? So, so far, so good. So now, what I'm going to do is, we're gonna, we're actually gonna cut this to length now. I'm gonna knock that off. So this is what we're left with. Now, I have a little bit of crookedness on the top, but for this demo, it would have been hard <laughs> to hold that little piece on there. So I'm gonna just take this and I'm gonna level that out. And then this is gonna be my box. So I wanna take a quick break from the project right now and thank today's video sponsor, Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning platform with thousands of different videos from the top performers in, in the industry. Then they can teach you a new skill, they can enhance your old skills, skills or maybe you want to like get into something totally new, something totally different to just spice up your life. If you want any of that, it's going to be on Skillshare. I can tell you this, that as a business owner, I'm always advertising for people, for sewers. I was looking for a videographer, a photographer, editors, all different types of people, right? But they need to have that skill set. And I know there's probably a lot of people out there that think all the time while they're at their nine to five, I wish I could be doing something real cool. I wish I could be a YouTuber. I wish I could be working with a cool company like Coal Cracker, right? But they don't have the skill set right now. So you need to look at Skillshare as an educational resource. It can teach you everything that you need to know to get that side hustle going or maybe switch career paths and really start grinding away at something fun in life. So I'll give you an example of things that I watch on Skillshare. A few nights ago I watched, it's called Productivity for Creators by Thomas Frank. He talks all about time management and his system to keep himself organized in order to progress forward in running his own business or you can apply that to your own side hustle. So really good information. He breaks it down really nice and clearly. And then second, last night, I started watching a new series from Denise Bayron on sewing basics. So it goes over how to sew because I'm always, you know at the shop, number one, we sew like crazy, but number two, I'm always looking for sewers. So I like to watch videos on sewing because 
because it's easier for me when people come in so I can teach them and they can learn a lot quicker when they come in. So if you already have that skill set, you get to, again, you get to go and you can find yourself a very cool side hustle or maybe a full-time job working with a fun company. So if you're interested in Skillshare, click the link in the description down below. The first 1,000 people who do that will get one month free of Skillshare. So it's a very cool deal. So click that link down in the description and uh, start learning. Learn something new, something old, whatever you want to do. Just get on there. You're going to enjoy it. If you enjoy my channel, you're going to love Skillshare. So looking at it this way, this would be the top of the box, this would be the bottom of the box, so we need to create a lid, and then we are going to hollow out the inside of this. So for a lid, it doesn't have to be super thick, so I'm gonna go somewhere in this area with it. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ax and we are going to attempt to split this nice and straight, and the grain is pretty good, so we should be okay. We're gonna try to split this lid right off of here. actually split that not too bad a little bit of runoff on this side but I'm okay with that all right nice okay now for the carving process I am going to be using a hook knife I can tell you this from teaching carving with these hook knives this knife causes so many cuts and injuries it is unbelievable you need to be extremely careful when using a hook knife okay now with a hook knife okay you're generally going to be cutting across the grain okay and you're going to be cutting towards yourself so when you do that okay you're going to be cutting across the grain this way all right it takes a little bit of time if you start to run with the grain initially, all right, the blade, just like when we baton, is gonna run with the grain, and if the grain runs outside of your project, you're gonna cut the wrong piece. Okay, so you're gonna just take your time, and we're gonna just start to work on this. So it's gonna take me a little while to get this going, but I'm gonna work on this, enjoy the great outdoors, and as soon as I get some progress here, show you where we're at. All right, so after a bunch of carving, Okay, this is where we got to. We made a hollow in our case, and then my flint and steel fits in there perfectly, nice and flat. Now, I'm holding this a little bit weird because I went ahead and I did one more thing. The box, a little too deep, too much extra wood. Split that away, so it made it a little bit thinner. Now, at this point, my lid fits on really nicely and neatly. We open it up. There is our steel striker. Now I'm gonna be able to fit my flint in there and also some char cloth, like I said, once it dries. But we have one more little issue here. How's this lid gonna stay on? So we're gonna fix that. We're gonna put a little pin so this thing just rotates like this on the pin, open and closed, and uh, we will be set to go. So the box is green wood, so we know there's gonna be some shrinkage to it. So what I wanna use is a dry stick, okay? Something that is not green. The reason for that is because the stick will stay the same size, and once it's inserted on the hinge of the box, and the box starts to dry, it will lock the stick in place. Now we should still be able to do this action with it, but we won't be able to pull it apart, so it's gonna work out perfect as it ages. Okay, so with the stick itself, I'm gonna use a gimlet. You can also use like an awl. You can also use a little drill if you have it. And all that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a look at how this wood split out. Um, and what I can tell you is that the wood is higher on the bottom piece on this side than it is on this side. So I'm gonna have it swing away from the high piece. That way when you swing it into the high piece, it's really not gonna wanna go too much further because it just binds on itself. So I'm gonna drill out this back corner. All right, so you can see our hole right there is drilled. Now I have to insert my stick, and you can see all these little curly cues on the stick. The reason for that is in nature, you're not gonna find an exact size stick, so you're gonna get something that's close. Use the back of your blade and just make scrapings like this until you get it small enough that you can slide it in. Now you don't want it so tight that you, snap, you crack your wood, but you don't want it so loose that it's falling out. So it really is just a slow process. But again, if you're out carving something 
something like this, you probably have the day to yourself and you're just enjoying being out here. So just take your time with it and keep working. All right, you see what we got happening here. So now I'm gonna use this to mark the top piece, just like that, and then we will cut this off. Top hole in place, so now we are gonna fit our pin. If it fit in the bottom hole, it should fit in the top, just like that. Wiggle this up and in. And now I'm gonna just cut this with my knife to get this nice and cleaned up. Only that little pinhole down there on the bottom and then our case is done. Now I can go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and clean up the sides, but what you're gonna notice then is this thing just rotates open. Look how nice that is. All right, so we open that up. We can fit our striker in. I have a little piece of flint that could fit in there and although the char is gonna get damp inside there just for demonstration purposes, we have that in, swing shut, and we are good to go. You see it doesn't fall open that way. Okay, this way, a little bit it will. So um, for now, this is what we got. Swing open, all our equipment's in there, swing shut, and you are good to go wooden tinder box. All right guys, so that's today's video. A little crafting, a little bit more relaxed, laid back. Um, gosh, it's getting nice out, so I'm really enjoying everything. I'm also uh, excited about this one. This is a fun project I've been thinking about most of the winter, and I was waiting for a nice day to do it. So thanks for joining me on this. Also, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. You can click again that description down below and uh, get that awesome deal and all that stuff. So, all right, go out, give this one a shot, relax enjoy it and uh, enjoy yourself also enjoy yourself over at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for all your gear and merchandise and classes all that good stuff and then uh, hit like and subscribe until next video stay in the woods